And this came through the Clark Stinks form. Um, it's not really Clark Stinks, but I wanted to end this week's segment with it. You were discussing cancer and specifically prostate cancer and being your own personal advocate. I can't make this up, but I was at the same time, exact time on the website of ANCAN reviewing their site and learning about active surveillance since I was recently diagnosed with prostate cancer. Thank you for giving me hope and a positive perspective on my prostate cancer diagnosis, Corey. Well, Corey, thank you for that. And I want to tell you that I've been on active surveillance for 13 years, and it's been a lucky 13. I've never had to have treatment for my cancer of any kind, but I am active surveillance means that you are in a scheduled, regular program that you do exactly what's required of it in diagnostics and testing to monitor the cancer because roughly four in 10 men with prostate cancer will die with it, not from it. It will never harm them in any way. The hard part is knowing who that four in 10 is, and we don't know right now, but there are certain markers in the prostate cancer and the amount of coverage and what something known as the Gleason score, the severity of the cancer that a pathologist has, uh, has found reading the slides. And so people can go into categories in general non-medical terms, often referred to in lay terms as you're a turtle, a rabbit, or an eagle. An eagle is someone who has prostate cancer that is highly lethal and requires extreme treatment. A rabbit is somebody whose cancer is not necessarily lethal, but left unattended will be potentially fatal. And then a turtle is what I am. And that's someone who has very slow growing, very small amount of cancer that knock on wood in 13 years has never shown any meaningful growth in me. And I may not ever have to do any treatment at all. I may be able to stay in a surveillance program for the remainder of my days. The important thing with prostate cancer is to be informed, ask questions, read, don't read crazy stuff on the internet, read, uh, like I went to source documents, medical journals, and read to be an advocate for myself. The more you know in this case, it's real, not what somebody posted on Facebook or whatever, the more you know, the more you're able to take charge and take control and not be railroaded into something not appropriate for your situation. So my knowledge of medicine, as I've stated in the past, is zero. But it was important in a case where it was my body to know as clear as I could what my options were and to pursue those. And if I had turned out to be a rabbit or an eagle, you got to know I would have had the right treatments right away. In my case, I was a turtle. I remain a turtle. And hopefully, I will be a turtle for the rest of my life. It's how I run. It is how I want my cancer to be. <laughs> 